Hey guys, so excited you're back here with us at Bay Harbor Kids Connection Time this week. We are hoping you had a great week at home. Hope you got settled into your new routine and have enjoyed being with your family so much. Um, if you didn't catch last week's session, you can see that over on our YouTube channel. And if you could, please remind your parents that Pastor Paul and the musicians have a traditional and contemporary worship service for them online, also on the YouTube page. So um, we're excited you're here with us, and we have a special friend with us. Miss Holly is back with me this hey week. Hey, guys. Yay. So uh, if you remember last week, we were talking about fear and uncertainty and all this crazy time we're living in. And we talked about Joshua and how the Lord told Joshua to be strong and courageous and to not be afraid and not be discouraged for he would be with him wherever he would go. And so today we want to talk about trust. And we have a classic Bible story from the Old Testament for you all about trust. So Miss Holly is going to read that to you. Okay, guys. So I'm going to read, like Miss Lori said, the classic story of Daniel and the lion's den. And if you want to follow along or read at a later time, I'm going to read you this children's version, but you could go to your Bibles and in the book of Daniel chapter six, verses one through 28, you could go and look at the story and read it with your parents if you like. So God sent his people to be ruled by a different nation. A man named Darius became the new king. Daniel was the best helper in King Darius's kingdom. Because the king liked Daniel best, some of the other helpers wanted to harm him. They decided to trick King Darius into getting rid of Daniel. The angry helpers knew that Daniel prayed to God every single day, three times a day. So they came up with a plan. King Darius, they said, you are such a great and wonderful king. You should make a new law. The law will say for 30 days, nobody can pray to anyone else but King Darius. Well, this sounded pretty good to King Darius, so he agreed. Daniel heard of this new law, but he loved and trusted God so much, he continued to pray and worship him. Nothing could stop him from praying to God, not even King Darius. The king's helpers spied on Daniel, and they caught him praying. Daniel was thrown into a den with lions. Oh, poor Daniel. The lions growled and they stared at him so hungrily. But Daniel was not afraid. He trusted God to take care of him. The next morning, King Darius went to the lion's den and he removed the rock and called, Daniel, did your God save you from the lions? Yes, replied Daniel. God sent an angel to shut the mouths of the lions. God save me. And King Darius was very happy. He told his servants to lift Daniel out of the lion's den. And then he told everyone in the kingdom that they are going to worship Daniel's God. So you see, guys, Daniel trusted in God and God helped him. And you can trust in God too. Great. Thanks, Holly. That was a great story to remind us that when we trust in God, he protects us. Whoa, is that you, EP320? Did someone say Daniel in the lion's den? Wow, it is so good to see you. Yes, Holly was just reading that story to us. And you even look like you're dressed up as a lion today. Yes, I am dressed as a lion to represent the challenges that Daniel faced. Awesome. Would you like to tell the boys and girls a little more about our story today? all of the world have challenges, like lions, some small, some significant, and others even life-threatening. Daniel gives us an example of how he trusted God and had total faith in the midst of such a challenge. Like Daniel, we can trust God to help us rise above and to do amazing things in our lives. That is so great, EP320. What a great summary. And I have a great example to illustrate that. Would you like to join me for a science experiment? Boy, I love science. You can take my lion costume off. Okay. Get ready. <laughs> so what are we going to do today? Okay, well today we are discovering how God protects us through an, an experiment with two oranges. We have one orange that is peeled and one orange just um, whole, and we have a clear glass container with water. So what we're gonna do is put the peeled orange into the water. What do you think's gonna happen? 
<laughs> okay, well here goes. So this represents how we are totally alone. That when we don't have God in our lives, we're just all by ourselves trying to do it all on our own, that we sink. We sink into our problems and our uncertainties and we need God. So here we have an orange that has a protective coating on it, a peel. And so let's see what happens when we put this into the water. <gasps> Ta-da! It floats! So we can we can think of the orange like God's protective covering over us, that when we look to God, when we turn our eyes on Jesus, he is gonna come into our lives and help us rise above our problems, help us rise above all of our challenges, that we can trust in him and have faith in him that he will protect us. So we can think of the orange like a protective covering, like God gives us a protective blanket of his protection when we trust in him. Wow, that was so cool. Now, every time I get scared or nervous about something, I will remember to be like the orange and put on God's protection. I guess I could pray to him and ask him for That would be great, EP320. We will let you pray for us at the end of the session, okay? Right now, we're going to do a couple quick announcements, and I'm going to let you introduce a couple of our songs in a minute. Okay guys, so just a couple quick announcements for this week. I know everybody's been working hard on some snowflakes for VBS, which is great. We are gonna use them to decorate all out here in the FLC lobby and down the hallway. So hang on to those snowflakes. We'll definitely collect them from you when you come back to church. Um, have a quick project for you for this week if you'd like. I'm gonna email out a template for a shield and we are gonna talk about protection and you can make your own shield at home. And this will be something about you, something that you enjoy doing. You can put pictures, you can color it, just anything that represents you that allows that since you have God's protection it allows you to be everything you want to be so we're going to use those shields to decorate the hallways here for VBS so we thought that might be a fun project you can do at home also two service projects coming your way um, we have adopt a senior if you and your family would talk about adopting one of our church seniors we would love to pair you up with someone this would just involve you making a quick phone call once a week possibly sending a card or a picture and just checking on those seniors that uh, that we assign to you so if you'd be interested in that you can email me and then I will pair you up with someone and I know you will just brighten their life with all your joy and cheer so it would be a great project also, we're going to do CareCore Junior cooking at home. A lot of you have done cooking with us before. We have several entrees, recipes we can pass on to you, desserts. But if you'd be interested in making an entree or a dessert and put in your freezer for in the future when CareCore needs them, that would be great. So I'll send you the link for that too. It'll be a Sign Up Genius link and you can sign up to make an entree or dessert and stick it in your freezer. So anyway, okay, I think we're ready to get started with our songs. So let's stand up and sing like we always do and EP3 20 is here with us today and I think I know what song he's going to want to sing so I'm going to let him introduce the songs today so I know you guys have sung this a lot but let's sing Roar one more time I absolutely love this song and I heard we also have a new song from this year's BBS oh I can't wait to hear it it's called Earthquake <laughs>
Hey, John. Sorry, I'm late. Wow, look at these gifts. Wrapped them myself. Who are they for? You. Me? Yep. Why? Cuz. Cuz? Yeah, just cuz. No. No? No. No, there's never just a cause with you. Did something happen? What did you break? No, I'm giving you these gifts in honor of what we've been talking about all month. No, uh, no, I, you know what? I'm not accepting these. And furthermore, I'm actually leaving until you apologize for whatever it is you did or didn't do. But no, but no, but I said no. <sighs> Man, I just wanted to show him a little forgiveness. I'll be right with you. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Hello. Uh, yes, I was wondering if you could send over a painting restoration expert to my address. Yes, I need a painting that needs to be res res restorized. Yes. You oh, you can. Oh, that's great. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, bye bye. Oh, it's so great that they guessed my address. Okay, this just might work. Hi, and welcome to the so-and-so show. I'm John. It's Steve and Steven. Steven! Uh, 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 hide the painting. Hide the painting. Hide the painting. Oh, Here we go. Hide the painting. Hide the painting. Hide the painting. Okay. Shh. 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 Okay. Oh. Oh. Hide the smaller painting. Hide the smaller painting. Uh, hide the smaller painting. Hey. <laughs> Hey! Hey! It's Steven! Yeah! And, and boy, do we have an exciting and, and quick, quick show for you today. Yeah, sorry I'm late, everyone. Yeah. Have you been painting or something? What? Painting. Oh. No, 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 no. There's paint on your face. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. Oh, right! Um, I'm practicing face painting. On yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to develop a new product that's called self face painting face paint kit for selves. The design is, uh, it's, it's, it's a Jackson Pollock face paint. Ah, right. Because kids love Jackson Pollock. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Uh, anyway, it's good that we're talking about paint because I wanted to show everyone the painting that you've been keeping safe for me. Huh? Hey, no. The one that I had cleaned for my grandmother's 101st birthday. Hmm? You know, the painting that's been passed down from generation to generation in my family for hundreds and hundreds of years and is literally the last remaining image of my great, 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 great grandfather, Sir Mikhail of Forgotten Loud. Oh yeah, yeah, that one. That one, yeah. So, where is it? Somewhere safe, I hope. Let's play a game! What? It's time to play Find Steven's Family Painting Blindfolded. Why would we do that? Do I get a hint? <laughs> Where's the fun in that? No, no peeking. Okay, well, can you at least tell me, am I getting warmer? Oh, you're warm. Oh, oh, oh you're on fire. That's a ruby. No! Oh! Someone from this address called for a painting restoration expert? A what? <laughs> it's time for someone who knows stuff. <laughs> Steven, show our guest a seat, right? Sure. <laughs> Here you are. There you go. Okay. What is going on? Nothing! So, so, so who are you and what do you know? 
I am Jonas Skoda. I restore paintings. Someone from here asked for me to restore. Hey, you know what? That's fascinating. Hey, thank you so much for coming. Hey, that was someone who knows stuff. Da -da -da -da. Hey, guys, sorry, I got to go really. Wait, 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 wait. You're not someone who knows stuff, are you? Well, I mean, I know some stuff. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 how dare you, Steven? You know what? You should be very offended that he even thought you didn't know anything. I would leave here as fast as humanly possible. Stop! Mr. Escada, will you please come back in? He said please. I did say please. Can you get his chair? Oh, yeah. Have a seat. <clears throat> John, uh, what is going on? Where's my painting? You know which painting that I'm talking about. Okay, okay. It's here. It's a little different. Oh, what did you do? I did nothing. Uh, I figured you did nothing. So I stored the painting in a safe place, like you said. Okay. But then I didn't. John. I took it on an outing. An outing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you guys out there, you know how people uh, take stuffed animals all over the world and take pictures of them in front of famous landmarks and stuff? Well, well, I, I, I thought I'd do that with your painting. Okay. It, it was going to be my gift to your grandmother. Wow. So the first place I took it was a coffee shop. Okay. See? Awesome. See? See? Yeah. That's me at the coffee shop with your painting. Okay, well, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's yeah. fine. Yeah, but then my coffee came, and I tasted it, and it was really hot. Okay. And so I uh, spit coffee all over my painting? No! Okay, good. Whew. I spit coffee on the person next to me, then they threw their coffee at me, but it missed. That's good. Well, that coffee got on your painting. What? Huh? Okay, I tried. I tried wiping it off, but but paint and liquid they don't they don't react well together. John, why would you try to wipe it? Okay, okay. Just get it. Here it please. is. Here it is. Here yes. It. Here we go. <laughs> I cannot fix that. No. Good day. It's a bad day. Uh, Why? What? What is? What is I'm oh. so sorry, Stephen. I'm. I'm really sorry. I, I. I. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hello, friends. What is up? What is? That! This is Steven's painting. And I ruined it. Yikes. <laughs> oh boy. You guys are going to need today's story. It's all about forgiveness. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, yeah. That sounds good. That sounds good. And here to help me tell it, I've got the so and so show players. Oh, man, not them. I mean, yay! Oh, yay! You like these guys, right? They will be performing the parable of the prodigal son. A story Jesus told. Awesome. <laughs> Can it be funny? Someone needs a little cheering up. I mean, it's not really a funny story. Like a sitcom or something with canned laughter and everything. When, when, when that make you happy? When... <laughs> oh, take it away. They're my two sons. <sighs> Jesus said, there once was a man who had two sons. The younger one spoke to his father. <laughs> ba 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 bingo <laughs> Son! Dad! I want my inheritance. Oh, how much? Oh, wow, let me see. Um, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, all of it. Oh. 
So, the dad divided his property between his two sons. Uh, <laughs> here's your half. Whoa! Half of what? Oh, I'm claiming my inheritance. I'm gonna go to some distant lands and live the way that I want to live. Bingo! <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, your shoe's untied. Oh. Made you look. Bingo! <laughs> The son went to a distant land Bingo! where he had squandered every single oh, dollar Bingo! he had. <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> oh, Bingo! 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 <laughs> you want some Bingo? Bingo! <laughs> Bingo! 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 Not long after, a drought hit the land, and there wasn't enough food. So the younger son got a job, feeding slop to pigs. Chewy! Man, I am so hungry. Man, I really want to eat some of this slop. Better not be eating any of that slop. That's high quality slop. Yeah, yes. Feed the pigs. No one gave him anything, but then he came to his senses. Man, how many of my father's hired servants have food to spare, and here I am nearly starving to death. Wait, I'll go back to my father. Bingo! No, 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 I, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. As the younger son made his way back to his father's house, he practiced a speech he hoped would convince his father to at least let him be a servant. But before the son made it all the way home, My son? My son! My son! My son, wait. Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I'm not worthy to be called your son. Quick, somebody, anybody, bring the best robe, a ring, and sandals. Bring the fattest calf and prepare it for a feast. My son was dead, but he's alive again. He was lost, but now is found. You forgive me? Bingo! Oh! <laughs> hey! <laughs> what I miss? To be continued. Oh. Wow! Amazing story, Callan. Quick question, though. How could the father forgive his son after everything he'd done? Well, remember, this was just a story Jesus told. But there was a point. The dad in the story is like God. And we are like his children. And no matter what we've done or will do, God loves us. And he is willing to welcome us back with grace and mercy. Wow. Yeah, that's the kind of forgiveness we should be showing the world around us. That is powerful. I'll say, well, um, hope that painting gets, uh, bye. Yeah. So. Yes. I... I forgive you, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you! You're welcome. <laughs> oh, oh and, and to make it up to you, I will personally repaint this no. painting. I will personally hire somebody to repaint this painting. Yes, please. Fair enough. <sighs> and until then, reveal the question! Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, when has someone forgiven you? Uh, hello? Right, like, right this second? Right and now. And it feels amazing. Yeah, you know what? It kind of feels good for me, too. Oh, wow. Forgiving helps the forgiver, too. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So when has someone forgiven you? Talk about it together. And talk about how it made you feel. And maybe forgive someone while you're at it. Yeah, and we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. Woo yeah. 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 Is that okay. But, so what's the, uh, so I'm going for the cubist. Uh -huh. 
kind of thing. Like I want like my Your eyes right here, my nose is up here. Yeah, I'd like to see a little bit like a Rothko is what you've got going on. Oh yeah, yeah, you're very blendable. Mm-hmm. Can I help get some help? You know what, kids like Rothkos. They <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, I am so thankful for this time that we have together. And even though we can't be with each other and see each other, we have your resources to use at this time, Lord, so that we can connect. I thank you for this powerful story that we heard today about Daniel in the lion's den, that we may be more like Daniel and only worship you, Lord, and that we put all of our trust in you for only you have the power to shut the mouths of the lions. We, we know that you are with us, Lord. We give you all honor, glory, and praise in our good times, but also in these difficult times, because you are our one true God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. <laughs>